Hi everyone, my name is Nishi Jane. I'm currently a senior at Bellevue High School. Um, and I was also, along with these wonderful people, uh, an ambassador over the course of this last summer. And I'm gonna talk about a little bit something different from what they talked about. I'm gonna talk about how I hope to bring um, the idea of food security and aquaponics and hydroponics to my high school in the form of, in the form of like an education and a curriculum. So the problem that I've found in um, the curriculum system right now is um, no one has really heard of food security. Um, and I remember the first time I heard about it was actually my first day here at ISB. I remember like coming in, like I was super prepared, I had my notebook, my pen, and the very first question they ask is, what is food security? And I'm just like, uh, and it was definitely like, aqua what? When they started talking about aquaponics and hydroponics, and I was thinking, oh my goodness, like, this is, the whole internship is dedicated to this, and Nishi, you have no idea what they're talking about. But as I kept learning, as I kept realizing, I realized that, you know, it's something that we have, we have the tools to understand, we have the tools to know, but it's never really put together um, in one cohesive unit in school. And obviously, food security with being such a growing problem, not only across the country, but also here in the US, it's obviously something we need to address. So that's what I'm trying to do right now, um, working with my school is trying to put together a curriculum plan and so this i hope will eventually kind of combine students interests in science and the issue that needs to be addressed to kind of create scientists so the epidemic won't remain an, unaddressed it won't it'll be that like a solution will be there because students will be dedicating themselves combining their passion with science and so the way that I thought to do this is to kind of focus on the AP curriculum. The reason I'm focusing on the AP curriculum is because, not only because of the rigor is huge and students would, are likely to be motivated, but also because after the AP tests, um, for our school, there's about a month and a half, and I, I promise teachers are just looking for stuff for students to do. Because the content is all done. By the time you take the AP test, content's all done. And then teachers are just like, oh, there, I found this project, read this article, read this book. But instead of that, why don't we have a, like a cohesive curriculum that is essentially dedicating students' interests to this one field? And they can also learn something in the process, and teachers obviously will have something to do. Um, so I hope that students will engage in research projects related to food security in this one, in this one week of curriculum that I've developed thus far. Um, and so hopefully this will pr promote food security as an idea to be studied further in the future, creating kind of an area of passion. And so the overview that I have for a week, because obviously I don't want to take too much of the teacher's time, but also have it be pretty substantial so that it, it kind of remains in the students' minds. So Monday, I kind of do an overview of the food security. What is it so the students don't have like the uh moment that I had coming here the first day. Um, Tuesday, I want to go over the stakeholders and the variables that kind of go into the, the whole um, development of the issue geographically, politically, eco um, economically, socially. Um, Wednesday and Thursday, I kind of want to go into um, aquaponics and hydroponics, but look into it look into it with a lens of the particular science they're into. And then Friday, I'm going to do the kind of build your own aquaponic system and a hydroponic system, and I'll be going through this. So Monday specifically, I want students to know the definition of food security. I want them to know that it does not just mean the physical lack of food; it also means a lack of adequate nutrition. And so for that reason, I want students to look at. American food security specifically on this one day because I know it'll personalize the issue and it'll also eliminate the misconception that food security only takes place in the third world which when I kind of explain the idea to my friends that's the first thing they thought they're like oh does that really happen here do we really, really need to study it here we definitely do because this is one of the maps I'm going to have them study and I apologize it's kind of small um, but those are all the areas that are food insecure so in Washington itself, Washington, the majority is filled. So evidently, it's something that students need to study and students need to be aware of, especially living in this state. Um, Tuesday, I want them to interest, uh, kind of learn into, uh, go into the related parties. So for example, here, the urban food secure and then the rural food insecure. So all these different um, kind of components come together um, to form the issue of food security. And they either contribute to it or try to kind of detract from it. Um, and they're going to be learning about those relationships. And that'll kind of introduce them to uh, what Radhika was talking about, the, the systems model, the, the education model that kind of utilizes systems. Because honestly, systems can be used anywhere. And it's a matter of understanding that you can take the different constituents of a, of a problem, look at the relationship 
relationship, excuse me, that they have to the one particular problem, and then from there work to solve the problem. And so that's the kind of idea that I want to put into their minds, but looking at it in the context of food insecurity. Um, and also, by looking at relationships specifically, I'll show students who are interested in not only science, but also social science, that food insecurity has this idea that it's politically involved, it's economically involved, it's socially involved. There are social undertones to this issue. So if you're interested in both sectors, then combine them and address the issue of food insecurity. Wednesday and Thursday um, is kind of, it's more teacher oriented. The teacher is going to look at um, the particular science. So the three science classes I'm looking at right now is AP Environmental Science, AP Biology, and AP Chemistry. Um, and so they're going to look at the different ways that food insecurity um, can alleviate resources and help ameliorate a particular condition. For instance, in environmental science, they're going to look at reliance on sparse resources. How, can that, how will that be alleviated through hydroponics, aquaponics? AP Biology, how could, it how could it change the position of endangered animals? AP Chemistry, how can it change chemical compositions of the earth? So looking at food insecurity through those different lenses, you can kind of utilize the student's interest in the particular science and connect it to food insecurity. So they'll look at food, insecu food insecurity as potentially a, more, a very viable thing they can address later on in their career. Um, and then on Friday, Friday's kind of like a fun day because obviously it can't be all content, content, content. Um, so it's kind of the creation of one's own hydroponic system. And we did this, you can see um, me, Laura, and Ethan down there. Um, we did this out of tip boxes, but honestly it can be done out of, out of like most anything. And I want in this, to the students to be the master of their own lab space because rarely do we get to do that. Rarely do we get to stray from the very regimented um, instructions given to us by the teachers. So the students can employ their own engineering genius. For me, I don't have any, so it's going to be developing that. Um, and so then from there, the students will then have a reminder of the lesson when they're expected to come back and take um, measurements of, the, of their hydroponic system and how it's kind of progressing over the course of the next few weeks until the end of the school year. And then they can take it home with them. But overall, um, I think the idea, there's two ideas that I want them to remember very, very well is the idea that there are multiple variables and stakeholders that go into the issues of food security. Be that in, in the idea of stakeholders who are people, but also in the idea that um, all their science can contribute to the idea and to the amelioration of food insecurity. You don't have to be only into agriculture to be able to address this issue. You don't have to be only into agriculture to make a difference. You can't understand this issue in the context of what you want to study. And so through that, I want to create um, scientists, a generation of scientists who are ready and able to address this issue in the coming months, working with their peers, of course, but ameliorating the issue nonetheless. Thank you.